Pile caps are structural elements that transfer the load from the structure to the supporting pile foundation. These are very important structural elements, but how do you design them? How do you size the pile cap and how do you find the rebars? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to discuss some engineering background in the design of pile caps, particularly what are the code provisions and uh, the limited states that control the design of pile caps. Let's get started. A pile cap usually supports a column from the structure, and in turn the pile cap is supported by a series of piles. The general case is when the column supports a vertical load, two horizontal loads in each direction, and two bending moments in the orthogonal axis. All these loads need to be transferred to the foundation. So the first assumption in the design of pile caps is that the pile cap is perfectly rigid. Usually the pile caps are very thick due to the shear requirements. So this assumption is justified. The second assumption is that the uh, top embedment of the piles is pinned. Normally the top embedment is about six inches. For some lightly loaded piles could be four inches, but no less than that. So six inches is a typical uh, top pile embedment in the pile cap. And with that embedment, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to get a fully fixed condition. So the assumption of a pile pin at the top is uh, also justified. The pile group layout is also very important in the design of pile caps. The arrangement of piles should be as compact as possible to minimize the impact on the pile cap. There are some limitations. For example, the pile spacing is limited to a minimum distance to avoid group effects, which will adversely uh, affect the pile capacity of the group. This minimum is three feet center to center or two feet clear between piles or three times the pile diameter. The edge distance is also limited to a minimum um, that depends on the pile capacity. It ranges from 15 inches for uh, lightly loaded piles to 36 inches for uh, high capacity piles. These are typical pile group layouts as recommended by CRSI from four piles to 20 piles. All these layouts have proved to be efficient and uh, has given good results in actual structures. The pile group configuration is very important also to calculate the individual pile load. Since the pile cap is assumed to be perfectly rigid, the actual load in a single pile is uh, proportional to the moment of inertia with respect to the center of gravity of the pile group. The pile reactions for a single pile can be calculated with this formula, which is a function of the area of the piles and the moment of inertia of the pile group. Since all piles have the same area, this formula can be simplified in this expression at the end. Please note that the expression considers the P, which is the vertical load, and also the moments, moment X and moment Z, in both directions. So this formula considers all the loads in the pile cap. For a simple pile cap with a concentric column and just vertical load, all piles have the same actual load. But if we have moments, this expression considers also that effect. Pile cap needs to be checked for a number of limit states, both in shear and in bending. These are the limit states for shear around the column. It includes, number one, is the punching shear around the column at a distance d over two. This is a traditional punching shear calculation in ACI 318. And the number two is the one-way shear at a distance d from the column face. This is also a traditional calculation in both directions in number two in X, in number two in Z, traditional uh, in, in ACI 318. The number three is the punching shear at the column phase. This is a special investigation in the design of pile caps. In this case, phi VC uh, is larger uh, to compare to the shear around the column. This special investigation is only applicable when you have at least one pile at a distance less than D over two from the column phase. And the fourth limit state is a one-way shear at the column phase. This is also a special investigation, and it applies when you have at least one pile at a distance less than D 
from the column phase in any direction. These are the limit states for shear around the piles. It includes, as a number one, is a punching shear around a single pile. It's a traditional uh, punching shear calculation. The second limit state is uh, punching shear around a couple of piles closely spaced. The third limit state is a punching shear around a corner pile. In this case, the failure line can be shorter if we extend it to the edges of the pile cap. And the fourth uh, limit state is a one-way shear in uh, diagonally uh, at the corner pile at a distance of 13 inches. So these are the four limit states for shear in piles. When you open a zip foundation and create a calculation for a pile cap, you see this uh, template. Here we specify the pile spacing and the edge distance as we discussed, also the type of piles, and uh, here we can specify butter piles if necessary. In the pile cap tab, we can specify the pile cap thickness, the soil cover, and the water table. And finally, the dimensions of the column, and the column can be eccentric. If the column is eccentric, of course, this creates an additional moment that needs to be considered uh, in the design of the pile cap, particularly the pile capacity in compression, in tension, and lateral. And finally, in the uh, reinforcement tab, we specify the rebars that we're going to use in the design of the pile cap. If we click on the at a glance tab, we see a summary of the results. In this case, all the conditions are passing. We can see here the one-way shear, three conditions, punching shear, five conditions. Here is the design of uh, the rebars, top bars and bottom bars. Here is a transfer from the column to the pile cap. Here is the column design itself, the interaction diagram. And these are the pile reactions. In the contents tab, we see uh, with more uh, detail the calculation that we just explained, grouped by, uh, they are grouped by topic, one way shear. All the limit states are here. One way shear at, at D from the column, at the column face, and at the corner pile. For the punching shear, here are all the limit states that we just explained, D over two from the column face, at the column face, punching shear at D over two uh, from the pile face. Here is at, uh, at D over two from a pair of piles and D over two from a corner pile. So all the limit states are here. And we, this is the design of the reverse. And this is the load transfer from uh, the column to the pile cap. In the detail tab, we see a more uh, detailed set of calculations, step by step, with all the formulas exposed. Here are the pile reactions, uh, the calculations as we just explained the formula, the one-way shear calculations with the controlling combination, the bending calculations, punching shear calculations, all the formulas exposed, the load transfer, and finally the column calculations. Graphically, the pile reaction, you can sort it by load combinations as well. Here's the one-way shear at a distance d. You know, when the column is eccentric, the, the resulting shears are different at both sides, in x and in z. Can be sorted also by load combination. Or at a column phase. This is a special uh, investigation that, that I just explained in, in x and in z. The punching shear around the column at d over 2 or at a column phase, a special investigation as well. The bending, these are the moments that the program calculates and the images that are generated showing the piles that are effective. The piles that are in the shaded blue area are the piles effective in the calculation. For example, these four piles, the blue area, are not considered for the calculation of the uh, bending moments. This is the interaction diagram for the column. And finally, the construction tab shows a sketch of the pile uh, cap in elevation view and in plan view with the reverse that we just uh, designed here.
With this, we conclude the overview of the engineering background in the design of pile caps. Uh, we covered all the limit states in shear and in bending, and also we discussed some of the limitations in the geometry of the pile cap group layout. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications of similar videos in the future. Thank you very much for your attention.